What's up everybody, I am Mongoose, you are awesome, and this is my FaZe first impressions video. My first impressions of FaZe is that she is fucking awesome. Um, she's even better than I thought she would be. I knew she would be good, but not this good. We'll see how it pans out as the days go by and people learn how to counter her. Which, by the way, if you want to counter FaZe, all you have to do is pull her target far enough away from FaZe so that the telekinetic link is broken. Or just kill FaZe. Um, so, the thing that I thought would limit her was a lack of a stun. However, Energy Lance is such a long-range ability, and Roots are only slightly less effective than a stun, so it more than makes up for the fact that it's not a stun. So, with Phase, what you want to do is reposition your allies in a way that make, creates a more favorable engagement. Now, that could be pulling them into the fight, or pulling them out of the fight, it might be completely removing them from an engagement so that they can live to fight another day. And once you pull them and reposition them, you use your energy lance to lock down a target so that everybody can take them out. Now cards that I think are really good on phase, first and foremost, I think this is almost mandatory for her really, is a Cast Converter. Cast Converter uses 150 mana to increase your health regen by 47.5 for 10 seconds, which is absolutely amazing when you're uh, linking with someone and giving them that health regen, plus the bonus regen that you automatically get while using abilities during the telekinetic link. So the other card I highly suggest would be Teleblink. Um, the thing with Teleblink is, you can blink and then pull an ally, so it's a very good way to cover a lot of distance to, keep, to get someone to safety or to engage on someone that's a bit too far away for, say, your carry to, uh, to engage in on. Now, if we look right here, we see I was a little out of position. I should have been behind the carry, but we pull her out. We pull Yin out. Hey, come on, come on, Yin. And then we re-engage with the Energy Lance and try to set up a kill here. Yin goes in. We use the blind to kind of disorient them. The blind is absolutely amazing, as I'm sure you know. Now, Yin outdistanced me and broke the link, and I didn't have enough mana to recreate the link. So that kind of sucked. So right here, I see the Belica looks like she's going to do something stupid, so I help her out. <laughs> we give, we uh, slow, slow Gideon down. We pull Belica out of the tower range, then we give her a little bit of health regen here. This is an example of what not to do on phase. I used too much of my mana in this engagement, and I was not able to pull our Yin to safety right there. So she doesn't use a whole hell of a lot of mana, but watch out early game. Make sure that you have enough mana so you can use your abilities to save folks instead of trying to set up kills like I was doing right there. We see that our Kalari is going to be in need of assistance. So we wait for the minions to go into the tower, come through, see that we can set up a kill in this Gideon, so I start energy lancing through the fog wall. Kalari's able to pick up the kill. We link the Kalari just in case, and it's a good thing we do. But he starts taking a lot of damage, so we just pull Kalari right the fuck on out of there, and then go along our merry little way. Right here we see that our team is in trouble. They need our assistance. I messed up my pathing there, so we pull Belica the fuck out, the, out of there, give her a little bit of health regen. Now that we've repositioned our allies for a favorable engagement, start to slow people down. Teleblink and the Kalari, he engages, so we go ahead and use our ult to give, uh, well, Chimera, I mean, a little more, uh, a little more oomph. Shimbi comes in, I immediately energy lance on her. We used our blind to protect both ourselves and to set up kills for Chimera. Chimera's pushed up pretty deep right here, so we go ahead and link to him. The enemy's coming in, so we blink, and then activate our telekinetic link, and pull him to safety. That's what I was talking about, using blink. I see our team engaging, so go over to offer my assistance. Link into Bellica. She's taking a bunch of damage from Shinbi, so I don't want her to get too hurt. So we go ahead and pull her out. Now I'm using Energy Lance just to push the enemy back right here. Their phase uses her Energy Lance as well. 
see the kill opportunities we activate the ultimate give us that speed boost mana and cooldown reductions for Bellica we're using our slow to set up the kill on Greystone and he goes down pretty darn easy and I accidentally activated my uh, telekinetic link right there which sucks because we could have saved Chimera had we not done that we're starting to disengage from this fight Belka started to get energy land so we immediately just pull her out of the fire Yin is pushed way out of position here she's getting collapsed on so we just yoink her away unfortunately she still gets taken down by Revenant bit of an engagement in our jungle I'll go ahead and link to Yin then we start trying to slow and root Shimbi we're not able to get the root so we activate and this, okay that was weird right there see I blinked in to get closer to Yin so that I could pull uh, to get closer to Shimbi so I could pull Yin in but for some reason it didn't pull her forward uh, we used our energy lance right there to just kind of back Greystone off and it was actually able enough to slow him down and then we pick up the kill there Chimera and Kalari are in a lot of trouble. Kalari is, of course, able to get away, but Chimera needs a little bit, a little boost. I give him some health regen as well. Any team engaged pretty hard on us right here. Yin is in a fuckload of trouble. There's not much I can do to help her out, so I activate Cast Converter and then use an ab ability to to link the extra health regen to her. She broke the link, so we do it again. Take a look. Take a look at her health right now. That not that insane? I mean... Uh, I linked in the Chimera because it looks like he was going for a hard engage. We used our blind right there to kind of disorient. They were able to get away. We're staying linked to, to Chimera here. And uh, Chimera and Kalari, we, we're using our blind because they're the ones that are in the action. So linking to a melee hero is often very beneficial. Now, notice I'm not pulling Chimera, because you don't always want to be pulling people, right? <laughs> so we link to him, we give him some uh, health regen. Of course, his regen, combined with the regen that we just gave him, has him at full health in a matter of seconds. Here comes Shimbi, so we blink, pull our Chimera with us, hoping that our Kalari can slow her down. We use our energy lance to slow her somewhat. But uh, she's a slippery one. She is a slippery one. We're going to go around to try and cut her off at the pass if she tries to get home. Hit her with the energy lance, slow her down, and Bellica finishes her off. Okay, a couple of tips I have for FaZe. In team fights, it's often beneficial to link to a melee hero because they're the ones that are going to be closest in to the enemy team, and you can use your blind to great effect in that situation. Also, if anybody's going to be taking a lot of damage and needs to be pulled out, it's probably going to be the melee. Um, your actives. If you're going to use your telepathic link to increase somebody's health regen, use your active and then use the ability that you're going to use to activate the telepathic link. Uh, you can... They will benefit if you use the active, give them your health regen, and then use an active ability such as Cast Converter or even just a health pot. However, they won't get the full benefit unless you use that first, then and then use and then activate the link. Um, try and stay positioned behind your carry. Uh, that way, you can observe the battlefield, of course, and pull them to safety if need be. And um, as soon as anybody touches you, like anybody invades the b the back line, just blind, just like like a squid squirting ink, just hit blind and run, because <laughs> that blind is extremely effective. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions video for Phase. If you did, hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more, I don't I don't do a lot of these tutorial type videos. I mainly do the cast and call videos. But uh, those are a lot of fun, so if you want to check those out, make sure you click on that cute little mongoose to subscribe. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.